Chris Birch walked the halls of Gilbert High School 20 years ago. A few years from now, she could be leaving footprints on the moon. Please welcome astronaut Chris Birch. Growing up in the valley, Birch says the Arizona desert planted a cosmic seed in her mind. Being in the desert and that desert environment is such a great place to get excited, both about our solar system at night, the, the desert, um, the desert stars come out incredibly bright. You have great views of the Milky Way. Birch sat down with 12 News days after graduating from NASA astronaut training. It's a rigorous two year program, not for the faint of heart. I might start in the morning flying 500 miles an hour in the T-38. And then a couple hours later, I have to switch gears entirely and then try and think in Russian. Birch says seeing other women living and working in space inspired her to apply. At the time, she was training with the U.S. National Track Cycle Team, hoping to compete in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. The COVID pandemic kept delaying the games. I was filling out my astronaut application in the dorms uh, at the Olympic Training Center. With degrees in mathematics, biochemistry, and molecular biophysics from U Arizona, and a PhD in biological engineering from MIT, Birch had quite the resume, but she was up against 12,000 other candidates. Only 10 were chosen and the Gilbert grad was one of them. Put her heart and soul into it and they selected her. Brendan Keyes taught Birch in high school and still stays in touch. Honestly, when I tell my students, we have an astronaut who's an alumni, and they just they kind of give you that look like, really? She wanted to take on the world. She wanted to be in every honors AP course and, and just she was she was on fire. Guidance counselor Christopher Mack is also proud and wishes Birch the very best. If you do get to visit the moon, um, scratch my name, Mac, on the moon. That would be kind of cool. It's the kind of tribute any teacher would want, but only a kid who dreamed of the stars and made it there can deliver. Kyle Simchuk, 12 News.